Breastfeeding is one of the ways to give your child the very best start in life. It is an investment for your child's future health and growth. Breastfeeding has so many benefits that it is the recommended way to feed most babies in the world, whether you live in South Africa, the UK, America, India, or China. Occasionally, there are special medical reasons for some women not to breastfeed, but these are unusual. And you should think carefully about not breastfeeding your child and talk to health staff about the risks and benefits of not breastfeeding. Yes, so these are my, my two little children, Jeremias, who was born in Germany, and Rebecca, who was born in South Africa. And I breastfeeded both of them um, for six months exclusively. And I still continue now with Rebecca. She's now um, almost 10 months old. And with Jeremias, I continued until he was one and a half. Um, not fully, but um, yeah, he enjoyed it. And it's, it's really it's the best thing I think you can, can do for little children and also for, for yourself. And it's, it's really very, very common in, in Germany. So most of, of, of other women I know, they, they all um, breastfeed a minimum six months. Breastfeeding is not only full of good nutrients for your baby, but it helps to protect your baby from infections and illnesses, in particular from diarrhea and respiratory infections like pneumonia. This is true even in countries like England and America, where doctors and nurses encourage all women to breastfeed for their baby's health. In fact, I find my, my children very, very healthy and compared to other children that I see and that I've had, they've never breastfed, they are really, really healthy because I don't remember me having to take them to the doctor for any illness except for just a common cold which was easily treated at the clinic. The ideal way to feed your baby is to exclusively breastfeed for the first six months of life and then to continue to breastfeed until your baby is at least two years of age even when you have added solid foods to your baby's diet. Exclusive breastfeeding means giving your baby breast milk only, no other foods or fluids, not even water. Breast milk on its own contains all the nutrients a baby needs to grow well for the first six months of life. When your baby is born, you'll have milk ready in your breasts. The first milk that you will produce after you give birth to your baby is called colostrum. You will notice that this first milk is yellowish in colour. Some mothers think it is not good to give their babies this first milk. However, colostrum is full of nutrients and protective factors that will help prevent your baby from getting infections. There is no need to give other medicines or enemas to your baby after delivery unless these have been prescribed by a doctor or nurse at the clinic. You will notice that you will not produce a large quantity of colostrum, but babies need nothing else. There is no need to give extra water or glucose water or formula milk. Colostrum is very concentrated and will supply the baby with all the food he needs until your mature milk comes in two to three days after your baby is born. After two to three days, your mature milk will come into your breasts. We refer to this as the milk coming in. Your breasts will feel full and may be lumpy and hard. This will settle down once your breasts get used to producing the right amount of milk for your baby's needs. Many people think that breast milk is produced 
if a mother drinks or eats a lot. Some people think that stopping breastfeeding and giving their breasts a rest will help produce more milk. However, these are misunderstood ideas. Breast milk is produced in response to a baby suckling. When your baby suckles at your breast, special signals are sent from the nipple to your brain. In response, your brain sends a hormone, which is a kind of message, to your breast and makes your breast produce milk for the next feed. The more your baby suckles at your breast, the more milk you will produce. Suckling makes more milk. Many mothers ask how often they should feed their baby. Try to feed your baby as often as he looks as though he wants to feed. In the first few days this will be very frequently, sometimes around 12 times in 24 hours. Feeding the baby as often as he wishes will ensure that he gets plenty of breast milk to satisfy his needs. A good guide is that an exclusively breastfed baby will feed at least eight times in each 24 hour period. In other words, eight times over one day and night. Remember, many young babies feed more frequently than this. Many mothers worry that giving only breast milk to their babies will not be enough and that their babies will be hungry or thirsty or not grow well. Mothers doubting their milk supply is one of the commonest reasons for them to stop breastfeeding. Will my baby be hungry or thirsty if I give him breast milk alone? Breast milk contains a lot of water which is sufficient to quench a baby's thirst even in hot weather like we have here in South Africa. Once your breast milk has come in, the first breast milk that the baby drinks at each feed is called the foremilk. This is full of water and the baby uses it to quench his thirst. Gradually, during the feed, the milk changes to a milk we call hind milk. This milk looks whiter than the foremilk and contains more fat, which babies use to satisfy their hunger and to grow. It is important to let your baby take the milk from one breast until he has had enough. He will then come off this breast on his own and look satisfied. He will have taken the hind milk and the foremilk and will have had plenty of nutrients, including water and fat. After your baby comes off the first breast, you can wait a few moments and then offer him the other breast. He may wish to take milk from this breast also, but he may be full up. Start with alternate breasts at each feed. If you fed from the right breast first at the last breast feed, start with the left breast at the next feed. In this way you will feed equally from both breasts. Both breasts will have had the same amount of stimulation and both breasts will produce plenty of milk. Growth spurts. Sometimes babies seem to need more feeds than usual and appear more hungry. They cry more than usual and wish to feed more frequently. If this happens, it is likely that the baby is going through what we call a growth spurt. At these times, babies need to feed more frequently for a day or two until the mother's milk supply increases to satisfy the baby's extra demands. It is best not to give something else to the baby during these times, for example formula milk, as your baby will suckle less at your breasts as he is being satisfied with the formula. Your breasts will then start to produce less milk. After a few days of breastfeeding, your milk supply will be adequate for your baby again and your baby will settle down into its regular feeding pattern. These growth spurts generally happen around two weeks, six weeks and three months. Sometimes they do not happen at all, but it is something to think about if your baby suddenly cries more than usual and you are worried. Breastfeeding after birth. When your baby is first born, it is important to put him to the breast as soon as possible. Babies are ready to feed when they are born. They usually feed in the first hour after birth. Let your baby lie on your chest with a blanket over you and your baby and he will search for the breast when he is ready to take his first feed. 
Positioning and attaching your baby. Mothers and babies have to get used to being in a good position for breastfeeding. This helps you to breastfeed your baby effectively. You will often hear nurses and doctors talking about the positioning of a baby. We will talk about this now and show you examples of mothers breastfeeding. You can feed your baby sitting down or lying down. The things to look out for when you are positioning your baby are 1. That the baby is in a straight line and that his head is not twisted. It is difficult to drink if your head is twisted to one side. 2 that your baby is held close to you. Three, when your baby is small, and particularly in the first few weeks after birth, support the whole body of your baby. Four, when you put your baby to your breast, aim his nose for your nipple. In that way, his mouth will be in a good position to attach well to your breast. In order for your baby to suckle well, it is important that he is in a good position, but also that he is well attached to the breast. Breast milk is stored in large ducts or tubes which are situated under the areola. The areola is the darker part of the breast around the nipple. It is helpful if the baby gets a good mouthful of breast into his mouth, that includes the areola, so that he can suckle the milk in the large ducts or tubes which are in this darker part of the breast around the nipple. Of course, some women have larger areolas than others. In some women, all of the dark part of the breast will be taken into the mouth during feeding. In others, only part of the darker part will be in the mouth. Babies will learn to open their mouth wide as they approach the breast so that they can get a large mouthful of breast. Sometimes newborn babies do not open their mouth wide at first. If their mouths are not wide open, they will only take the nipple into the mouth. They will then find it difficult to suck milk from the breast. It will be rather like they are drinking from a straw. Ways to encourage a baby to open his mouth wide include tickling the side of the baby's mouth and waiting till his mouth is nice and wide open before drawing the baby onto the breast. When the baby is attached, his chin will be touching your breast. This means he can reach the breast easily and get a big mouthful of breast tissue. When the baby is well attached, his lower lip will be turned outwards and not inwards. If his lip is turned outwards, his tongue will be thrust forward under the breast and will push up against the large ducts in the areola. The milk will then flow into his mouth and this should be comfortable for the mother. It might be difficult for you to see whether your baby's lower lip is turned outwards. Also, if your baby is close and well attached to your breast, it is not possible to see this unless you pull your baby away which is not a good idea. However, if breastfeeding feels comfortable and you have no pain and your baby is taking nice big gulps of milk, your baby is likely to be well attached. Holding your breast. Note how this mother is holding her breast. Often women hold their breasts in what we call the scissor position. If you use this method, your fingers can sometimes block the milk ducts, which are under the dark part of your breast, around the nipple. 
This might make it harder for your baby to suckle the milk as he will not be able to get his tongue under the milk ducts. Try to keep your fingers well away from the dark part of your breast. Of course, positioning and attaching a baby who is already a few weeks old looks easy as the babies are experienced feeders. It is often more tricky at first, so do not give up or think you are not a good mother in these early days. Each mother and each baby needs to learn to breastfeed and remember even if you have had babies before, every baby is different and their feeding pattern might be different from your previous children. Going back to work or school. Mothers often ask how they will manage to keep breastfeeding if they go back to work or school and have to leave their baby with a carer. Breast milk can be expressed from your breast and left in a clean container for your carer to feed to your baby. Even if you do not have a fridge, breast milk can be left out of a fridge for 8 to 10 hours. If you do have a fridge, breast milk can be stored for 24 hours. It is most hygienic to give your baby expressed breast milk from a cup. Even very young babies lap breast milk well from a cup. Cups are easier to clean than bottles. I'm Arabia, my baby's Bandil and Fegai. I'm a scholar and I breastfed him for two years. I used to leave him with my mum. I express breast milk into a cup or else in a bigger container like a peanut butter jar so I could leave enough for him. I kept the milk in the fridge to keep it fresh. When I came back from school at about 2 o'clock, I used to breastfeed Bandile when he wanted to until the next morning. Expressing your breast milk should feel comfortable and can be done using your hands. Expressing breast milk. First, the mother washes her container in hot, soapy water. If she has boiling water, she can dip it into this but there is no need for long periods of boiling as you would need to do for a bottle. The mother then washes her hands and sits comfortably holding her clean container. The mother puts her thumb on the breast above the nipple and areola and her first finger on the breast below the nipple and areola opposite the thumb. The mother presses her thumb and first finger gently inwards towards the chest wall, avoiding pressing too far back as she might obstruct the milk ducts. Then she gently presses her breast behind the nipple and areola between her finger and thumb. Press and release. Press and release. Press and release. This should not feel painful. Press the areola in the same way from the sides so that milk is expressed from all parts of the breast. Express one breast for about five minutes and then the other side, then repeat each side again. Remember, if you are away from your baby for a whole day, you will need to express milk every three hours when you are away to ensure that you keep up your milk supply. Remember, Breast milk is produced in response to your nipples being stimulated and milk being expressed. So the more you express your milk, the more you will continue to produce. Cup feeding. Wash your hands and hold your baby sitting upright on your lap. Hold the small cup of milk to your baby's lips. Tip the cup so that the milk just reaches the baby's lips. The cup rests lightly on the baby's lower lip and the edges of the cup touch the outer part of the baby's upper lip. The baby will open his mouth and start to suck. Some of the milk will spill, but this is normal. Do not pour the milk into the baby's mouth. Just hold the cup to his lips and let him take it himself. When the baby has had enough, 
he closes his mouth and will not take any more. Babies should be cup fed as often as they wish and with as much breast milk as they want. Breastfeeding is usually a pleasant experience and very satisfying for the mother and baby. The mother and baby develop a deep sense of trust between them, which will last forever. Mothers spend a lot of time with their babies during the first few months as they are the only ones to feed them. This forms an important bond between the mother and child for life. Although relatives like the father cannot feed the baby in the first few months, they can help the mother with other jobs around the home. Their support is very important if breastfeeding is to be successful. Breastfeeding depends on support from all the family. <laughs> Okay, what I'm saying is I recommend strongly that these Makotis of ours should breastfeed because we are also breastfeeding their husbands. They got these husbands because they were breastfed and they were strong. And then nowadays, I don't know what has happened. People are buying tins. The, the children, are, the babies are, are, are finishing the tins before the end of the month and there's absolutely no money. I don't know what had happened to breastfeeding initially, but as I'm recommending the breastfeeding, I'm saying go on and breastfeed. If you have difficulties with breastfeeding, try not to despair. Ask for help at your local clinic or from someone in your neighborhood who has breastfed successfully. The important thing is not to give up. There are very, very few women in the world who cannot breastfeed. Each baby is a miracle and we wish you all the best with your new child and with breastfeeding. We thank you for watching this DVD and we also thank the mothers and children who have taken part in this feeling. No mama nengane pambili. 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 No mama nengane pambili. Pambili.